Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us look at what happens if we add a rational number with an irrational number. Let us try to find out 3 plus root 2. We know that 3 is a rational number as it can be written as 3 by 1 and root 2 is a irrational number. We get 3 plus non-terminating, non-recurring number on addition it will give us again a non-terminating, non-recurring number. That means that on adding a rational number with irrational number, the result is a irrational number. Let us now check what happens if we multiply a rational number with a irrational number. We get which on multiplication will give us non-terminating, non-recurring number. So, the result is again a irrational number. Let us now see what happens if we divide a rational number with irrational number. Let us take the same example 3 by root 2. To divide rational by irrational, we will have to rationalize. So we get 3 times root 2 whole divide by 2. Since root 2 into root 2 is equal to 2. Which gives us 3 by 2 into value of root 2. We know that this will be a irrational number. So we can say that on dividing a rational number with irrational number, our result will be a irrational number. Let us check what happens if we find the difference of a rational number and a irrational number. Let us take 3 minus root 2. This can be written as 3.2. 0, 0, 0, as many number of zeros we can add, minus 1.4142 and which is non-terminating. The result will be a irrational number. Let us read the question. Check whether 7 into root 5 is an irrational number or not. We know that root 5 is a irrational number and its value is 2.236 and so on. So, 7 into root 5 will give us 7 into 2.236 non-terminating which is equal to 15.6. 652 and so on. This implies that 7 root 5 is irrational. Second part of the question says to check whether 7 by root 5 is irrational or not. We will rationalize 7 by root 5 by multiplying numerator and denominator both by root 5 we get 7 root 5 whole by 5 since 
under root of 5 into under root of 5 will give us 5 which is same as 15.652 whole divide by 5 which will give us a non recurring non terminating number and hence we can say that 7 by root 5 is irrational third part of the question asks if root 2 plus 21 is irrational or not we have root 2 equal to 1.4142 and so on this is a irrational number plus 21 will give us 22.4142 and so on implying that root 2 plus 21 is again a irrational number now the last part of the question is to check whether pi minus 2 is irrational or not we know that value of pi is 3.1415 and so on so let us substitute we will get 3.1415 non terminating minus 2 which will be equal to 1.1415 and so on hence we can say that pi minus 2 is irrational let us read the question add 2 root 2 plus 5 root 3 and root 2 minus 3 root 3 our first step would be to write it as 2 root 2 plus 5 root 3 plus root 2 minus 3 root 3 now let us bring the like terms together that means we have 2 root 2 plus root 2 and 5 root 3 minus 3 root 3 from the first two terms we root 2 common will give us and from the next two terms root 3 common will give us the following expression so we have 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3 which is our required answer. Let us read the question multiply 6 root 5 by 2 root 5. So we start with 6 root 5 is to be multiplied with 2 root 5. This can be solved by multiplying the terms outside the root together and the terms with the root together. This will give us 12 into 5 that is equal to 60 as the required answer. Let us read the question. Divide 8 root by 15 by 2 root 3. So we have to divide 8 root by 15 by 2 root 3. We start by factorizing under root 15 as 3 into 5. And then we get 8 into root 3 into root 5 whole divide by 2 into root 3 root 3 gets cancelled 
two fours are eight, and four root five is the required answer.